we're going to run through common benign lesions. Just a few common benign lesions. Why? Because they can all mimic skin cancers. Or they can hide skin cancers. And remember we said you have to be able to name your lesions. So let's run through these. You've all seen these. Lots of them, they're dead easy. Solar lentigo, that's what it looks like clinically. Often fairly large, one to two centimeters. Fairly vague, non-distinct, tan, brown color. That's what it looks like under the dermoscope. There is no network there. There's just some pigmentation. It's like a big freckle and it's due directly to sun damage. All of those little white dots are just the openings in the skin. Lots and lots of solar lentigos, completely benign. But then you get the ink spot lentigo. And almost all patients that get these think it's a melanoma. Lots of doctors that see these things get scared and think it's a melanoma. These are completely benign ink spot lentigos and they look exactly as if you've been stabbed in the skin by an ink pen. All right, it's this dark, thick network picture, absolutely typical. They are benign and they can be left alone. Of course, lots of patients hate the sight of them. They want you to get rid of them and it's easy. They're usually small and it's easy just to get a punch biopsy that will fit the size, that will fit around it and you can take them out, but they're benign. Seborrheic keratosis, all right, by far the most common benign tumor. This is what they typically look like if you look in a textbook. There you are clinically, they look as if they're stuck onto the skin often, right? They have that so-called soft velvety appearance, a slightly pitted surface, okay? And this is what they look like under the dermoscope with the so-called scalloped edge. You can see the pits in the middle, completely benign, simple, straightforward. But that's what they look like, but that's also what they look like. All right? There are lots and lots of variations of seborrheic keratosis. And this one looks very, very different. Lots of different colors, very disorganized blood vessels in here, that does not look benign, okay? Does not look benign, but it's a seborrheic keratosis. So again, mimicking a skin cancer. Here's another seborrheic keratosis. Again, looks, looks very different from the other types, but again, here you can see the stuck-on appearance. It's actually got a shadow where the edge is lifted up. It's got this velvety uh, uh, surface. This is what these look like under the dermoscope and as you become used to them you become more confident to make the clinical diagnosis. But the point about Seb K is there are lots and lots of different types. They tend to be the same type in one patient. Each patient tends to have their own type of Seb K. So you know these old guys with 200 seborrheic keratoses, they usually look very much the same. And if you see one that looks very different, you should probably be suspicious of that. So, here's a hemangioma. There's a little skin tag. Don't worry about that. Hemangioma on a patient, again, quite common. Many of us will, will have hemangiomas. Under the dermoscope, they look like that. A mixture of a sort of bluish, purplish, reddish, non-distinct type uh, picture. Easy, straightforward, no problem. But here's a warning. Looks like a hemangioma, looks very similar. There it is under the dermoscope, a little bit blurred, sorry about that, but bluish, pinkish, dark, dark blues, purple. All right, not dissimilar to that. That was a nodular melanoma, all right? Nodular melanoma. So you've got to be suspicious, all right? It was on a woman's face. All right, the history gave it away. Rapid, recent onset, rapid growth, and EFG. You've all heard of the ABCD. I'm going to talk about EFG today. Elevated, firm, 
growing. EFG is a nodular melanoma. Looks like a hemangioma. It's a nodular melanoma. These things kill people quickly. They're nodular. They grow up and down, not sideways. They invade the dermis. They kill people quickly. Highly suspicious nodular melanoma, EFG. Dermatofibroma, very common. You see lots of these common on the lower legs of women. Um, they often look like this, slightly raised. They feel like a pea if you pinch them between your thumb and your finger. And you'll often get this, these few little blood vessels coming across. A blush of pigment there. Some people mistake them for nodular basal cell cancers. That's what they look like under the dermoscope. It is not a BCC. But here is another dermatofibroma. It does not look like the other one. And under the dermoscope, you've got colors, irregularity, asymmetry, all sorts of funny things going on. You can't call that a dermatofibroma. You have to biopsy it. Turned out to be a dermatofibroma, that's OK. And finally, the blue nevus. All right? Scares everybody. This one is elevated. Some of them are flat. The typical blue nevus has been there forever. These are remnants of the neural crest in embryogenesis. So they genuinely have been there forever. If a patient tells you, every doctor gets worried about that. I've had it since I was a kid, and it's not changing, that's fine. That's what they look like under the dermoscope. They've got this sort of slate color. And they're homogeneous. There are no blood vessels. There's no variation in color. That's a blue nevus. But here's a, also a blue nevus, but looks different. Suspicious with these extra little satellite lesions, right? Could easily be a melanoma. Could be a melanoma deposit. Could be a melanoma that's starting to spread and track through the skin. So unless the history is absolutely clear, then this one we treat as being suspicious. So, to close off before morning tea, benign lesions, golden rule three, benign lesions are really important because they can mimic skin cancers. You must be suspicious about all of them. Can you name that lesion? And if there is any doubt at all, cut it out.